and we walked down down the slope and we all spread out. We didn't see it at first, it took a while of walking around. Then Dan Stevenson, one of the guys in the exploration team, uh, came across the first bones. We came back the next year and bulldozed and blasted the top of it off and we got down to the body of Leonardo right, right in this zone of sand behind us here. This animal we called uh, uh, Leonard actually originally, Dan Stevenson originally called him Leonard which sort of morphed into Leonardo after a little while. Um, there was uh, some graffiti scratched into a rock a few miles from here that we found the previous week and uh, that said Leonard Webb and so when Dan was asked what he wanted to name this animal he decided to name it after whatever that, that uh, whoever that guy was that scratched that graffiti. Slowly with your head down you're not looking for a whole dinosaur, you're not even looking for a whole bone. What you're looking for is little broken bits of bone that have eroded out. Wind and rain is slowly eating away at this layer of rock. And bone is a little harder than the rock, so as the rock falls apart, you can get pieces of bone. And Wyatt was walking this way and spotted these chunks. These are big chunks, obviously dinosaur leg bone. The outer bone has a very dense but slightly fibrous grain, again, like really, really hard wood. And inside you can see bone cells. And why it's all this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. And you immediately look up. Where is the rest of the bone? And there's a trail of bone pieces leading up, 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 up. We scratched in a bit and found more bone in place, in situ, still lying in the rock as they lay 77 million years ago. This is not just one bone. It's a bone layer that goes from here a couple hundred yards that way. It's really a major find because it's an unusual burial. This is a swamp burial. We've got bones, complete bones, and bones have been chewed up, laid out on a swampy meadow and covered by a slowly moving flood that went over the banks of a river and spread uh, silty mud all over the crime scene. This is cool. There are not a lot of these in the early Judithian. What I want people to get when they go into our show, the Houston Museum Dinosaur Mummy Show, CSI Show, I want them to be overwhelmed by the beauty of fossils. Leonardo is an exceptionally lovely fossil. When the light plays across his scales and the wrinkles and the bulges, it acquires a, a, a golden hue that's just stunning. You just stop and you stare.